Hi there, Tyler from Bush League Bigfoot, and we're down the Blackstone River, a couple K in, and uh, we're staying out here tonight. I think it's about 11 o'clock. We're just having our final bit of fire here, letting it burn down, and figured do some whistles and maybe some boots quick, and then go check the ridge line out. And then after that, it's probably bedtime, and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. So we'll start with some, uh... Okay, so we'll go to the ridge line here and go check that out. Yeah, this tarp or our tarp there, tents are ready to go for the night. Everything's hanging that should be. <clears throat> so let's go to that ridge line quick. Oh, you probably can't see nothing here. All right, we're gonna walk by. Okay, oh, we'll go this way, it's easier. All right. Okay, we'll watch for eye. Watch for eyes along this ridge line here, okay? All right, can we see it? Cause right here's the river. Any eye shines? Always watch behind yourselves too. Don't ever forget about that. Always watch your six. Always. You know, I got Ernesto here. I got, when I go out by myself, yeah. But always be careful. Watch your back. Have a couple plans. Or, you know, if something were to happen, we'd have to fight the water going home. Whereas if we would have went the other way, we could have floated down the river to safety, but. It all depends. Here, let's do a strobe. I know you guys can't really see this. I know, it, it's... Alright, let's go back. We'll see. Ah, that's pretty crazy, eh? <laughs> Nobody get a seizure, alright? Should we try doing a wood knock or two maybe? Yeah, I might as well cover all the bases. You know, might as well, right? I'm gonna find me a decent worth knock to walk in. All right, maybe we'll try this one. This one feels like it may break, but give it a go. Ready? actually really good ones. They just broke into pieces. A lot of the wood we found down here is kind of wet and crappy. Oh, 
that. Throwing them banging on sticks out in the woods. Well, you've made some noise, and I know going out, you, know, you, you wonder a bit, right? You wonder if whistles hooting and hauling and banging on trees is the way to go. Or is it just more of a, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really think anybody knows. There's no real, no real experts here. All you can really do is just go out for a hike and try and enjoy yourself. That's really it. If you're able-bodied, you're blessed to come out here and be able to do this. Like I said, very lightweight stuff to pack. Very easy campsite. All you got to do is uh, grab uh, 10, 15 stones, river stones. Collect some wood. Enjoy yourself. Have some fun. Hang out with people that uh, you know are like-minded and that you like and uh, you don't mind spending time with. And uh, you know, get some happiness in the tank because uh, sometimes it can be a little short, but. Yeah, I guess we're going to stay out here for the night. We'll see how tomorrow goes. We're not sure. Like I said, it's supposed to rain Monday. And if we go back the way we came, those rock faces and that rock slide is going to be very slippery and dangerous. And I just don't know if I want to chance that. You know, if we leave later tomorrow afternoon or something, that's fine. But if you do ever get the chance to come out here, be very careful because about a K in where you want to come through here is a huge crevasse. And it is about an eight foot drop. And there's a rope on a tree. It's hard to find. It, it's We found it by chance. And like I said, only being out here a couple times. But enjoying myself, having a great time. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great night and uh, a great long weekend. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys soon. We'll see you in the morning, hopefully, eh? <laughs>